Hello, and welcome to Once Upon a Time in Black History. My name is Tamara Shiloh, and I am your host. I'm also an author, educator, and owner of the Multicultural Bookstore in Richmond, California, and in Las Vegas, Nevada. This podcast can be heard on Anchor, Apple, iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, and SoundCloud. Check us out and be sure to visit our website at onceuponatimeinblackhistory.com. Elijah McCoy, the real McCoy. McCoy's invention enabled trains to run faster and more efficiently. So let's find out a little about a little about Mr. McCoy. Well, he was born in 1844 in Ontario, Canada. You see, in order to gain their freedom, his parents escaped to Ontario, Canada. In 1847, three years after Elijah was born, they returned to the United States and settled in Michigan. As a young boy, Elijah was a tinkerer. He was often found taking things apart and putting them back together. I actually grew up with a boy that was that did that same thing and became a mechanical engineer. And let me read it. And so let me share a little more. Recognizing Elijah had some special skills, his parents saved enough money. And you know, I grew up with a boy next door who used to do the same thing. And he ended up being a journeyman mechanic back then. Okay, moving right along with Elijah. Recognizing Elijah had some special skills, his parents saved enough money to send him to Edinburgh, Scotland, where he studied mechanical engineering. And after finishing his studies as a master mechanic and engineer, he returned to the United States. At that time, the Civil War had just ended and the Emancipation Proclamation was signed. He returned as a certified mechanical engineer, but even with his masterful skills, he found it difficult to find work, of course. So, because he really needed a job, he accepted one as a fireman for the railroad oiling various working parts of the trains. The oiling had to be done frequently and required the train to stop often. It was a very boring job. The oiling had to be done frequently and required the train to stop. It was a very boring job, but it gave him time to think. And this led him to imagine the challenges of self-lubrication for machines. He began to develop and test his ideas for automatic lubrication. In 1872, he developed an automatic lubricator that spread oil evenly over a train's engine while it was moving. This would allow trains to run for long periods of time without stopping, which saved both time and money. This brilliant device was called a lubricator cup, and he received the patent for it on May 27, 1873. He continued to study and refine his devices and design new ones. Elijah received over 60 patents over the course of his life, and 50 of them dealt with lubricating systems. After the turn of the century, he was very popular among African-American communities, and Booker T. Washington mentioned in his book, Story of the Negro, in 1909, that Elijah produced more patents than any other black inventor up to that time. Because he didn't have the finances, and so because he didn't have the finances to manufacture his lubricators in large numbers, 
He usually assigned his patent rights to his employers or sold them to investors. Oh, my. Lubricators with the McCoy name were not manufactured until 1920, near the end of his career. He formed the Elijah McCoy Manufacturing Company to make his devices. And to this day, the popular expression, the real McCoy, typically meaning the real thing, has been associated with Elijah McCoy's oil drip cup invention. One theory is that railroad engineers looking to avoid inferior copies would request it by name and inquire and inquire if a locomotive was fitted with the real McCoy system. Elijah makes reference to it in his biography at the National Inventors Hall of Fame. But many historians and journalists are not optimistic about the about the real reference is to McCoy's invention. But many, historian, but many historians and journalists are not optimistic about the real reference is to Mr. McCoy's invention. Of course not. Typical, right? But it really doesn't matter because the real deal is that he did invent a lubrication device that outshined all others on the market. Elijah died in Detroit on October 10, 1929, at the wonderful age of 85. Now imagine that. Thank you for listening to Once Upon a Time in Black History. Remember, if you're interested in purchasing books about black history, you can find great selections at my bookstore at www multiculturalbookstore.com Thanks again. My name is Tamara Shiloh. See you next time.